Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of the Scorpios Builder Blog. If you are not already a subscriber, please consider subscribing. It really helps our channel grow. This is Fork Day. Uh, Scorpios has always had a big problem with robots who are using forks, especially ones that are widely spaced. And it seems like everyone in the top 10 has come up with a fork idea. So we've come up with a second pair of forks for different shaped opponents. Where the Scorpion King armor was a completely new set of armor and forks. And if you haven't seen our video, go check it out. Um, this is a riff on our standard armor you've seen a million times. We've taken the regular curved panels that have worked really well over the years, and we've made these upright vertical attachments that go on. It's kind of a safe bet where we're not sure if the long forks on the Scorpion King might bend. This adds a lot more horizontal strength to the forks. It does reduce the range, but what we're trying to do is have different options for different opponents. Because as we prepare, we have no idea who we're going to fight, and we're just trying to make a bag of tricks that will work... Well, you want different tools in your toolbox and different tricks up your sleeve, depending on who you're facing and what they're doing. So, this is our newest trick <laughs> as you can see in this photo the final fork is 20 inches long from the front of the robot which is actually longer than the scorpion king which we made these on the same day <laughs> thank you all weld um one of the things is all the additional heat as you see we're laying some really big welds down here actually caused the forks to peel up a little bit. And this is where I was really glad to have Matt on the team this year because he found a way to fix it. I'll let him explain. Okay, so all the heavy welds on here created a little bit of warping and it lifted this up off, off the uh, table about an eighth of an inch. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna heat this up down here and let it cool slowly and allow the molecules to get a little tighter together. And it'll actually shrink it and bring that back down. Flip it, it's actually going to be worse because the molecules have expanded. You see how that's much worse? But if you were to hold perfectly still and time lapse that, it will it'll come all the way down and be tight to the table when it's done. You have to stand there for a while, perfectly still. <laughs> Show the uh, well, it'll keep coming, it's, it's not even all the way yet. It'll keep cooling and cooling, and it'll probably be just about perfect by the time it cools. So, we're down it's to getting closer and closer. So, it's back down to an eighth, it was a quarter. And so, hopefully, by the time it cools all the way, it should be touching all, all the way to the ground. All right, how'd you learn how to do that, Carl? <laughs> My old mentor, uh, you know, when you have high beams, there's no way to straighten them. So you just, you gotta use flame and heat it and shrink it where you need it. It's absolutely incredible. I hope everybody enjoyed this inside look on how we made the Starfighter armor for Scorpios for the upcoming season. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode and we got something fun next week. So come back. Robot fight! Ho ho ho! 
And our new bot, Rat Trap, is on a rampage. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, round two. Rat Trap versus Snapdragon. And these two bots get ready to rumble. Looks like Rat Trap's trying to let Snapdragon make the first move. As he continues to taunt with his lifter. Oh! <laughs> Snapdragon bites down. Rat Trap breaks free with his titanium mousetrap. Oh, another great flip. <laughs> Rat Trap continuing to get up and around. He's pushing him to the sides. He goes for the big toss. 